the first time since I think the pandemic started that we're having a little work done. <clears throat> and it's something that has bothered us for quite a while and it's gonna look amazing when it's done. So a little backstory is that our church has a pool. The church building and the rectory were previously a home. And um, so we're fortunate enough to have a pool that is actually a saltwater pool. And um, the parish gets to use it on Sundays in the summer when we're not having a pandemic, obviously. Um, we hire a lifeguard and she comes and she guards the water so that the parents have a little more peace of mind that the kids are safe. So, um, with a pool comes pool equipment. And the previous owner put the pool equipment in kind of a conspicuous spot. So when you're coming up the drive, you can see all of the machinery that is needed to uh, maintain the pool, to keep the filters going and all of that. And it looks very ugly. And I think about four or five years ago, we planted some shrubs to try to conceal it. And we were told that the shrubs would grow very tall and probably through user error, they have not and they remained scrawny and ugly. And so we knew that we needed to um, build something to hide the pool equipment better, and today is the day. We sort of um, went back and forth between different types of fencing and opted to choose a stucco wall that is just like the wall, the walls of the church, the walls of the house, and also there's a wall encircling the courtyard with a pool in it that is stucco as well. So we thought that it would fit in really well and as time goes by it'll probably age a little bit. Um, the color of it will age and it'll look really like it's always been there. So our friend Miguel who is our parish's handyman and the guy who we run to whenever we have something to work on, a project or a crisis, is building it now and I'm going to take you to see it. This is the driveway that everyone comes in when they're entering the church. It's the entrance road. And back beyond there is the exit road, which is kind of, you take a quick left and it's, it's a straight out. But this is, here is the church, which I think I've pointed out in other of my videos. Um, and over here where you see some two by fours, in that area is the pool equipment. And you can see that Miguel has already sort of started to work on it. I should have gotten a picture yesterday, but I think you'll get the idea of how it looks. And it's just kind of, you know, it's sort of like letting your bra strap show. Not very attractive, not horrible, but you know, not nice either. Good morning, it's Thursday and it's another scorcher. Miguel is here again for day two. Yesterday he finished the framing before lunchtime and then it just got too hot to continue. So he um, came back this morning early and he's put on the framing, when you're doing stucco, you put uh, plywood over the framing and then you put black paper of some sort. I'm not exactly sure of what type all of this stuff is, but 
Um, he put the black paper on, he's stapling that and nailing it in now, and then you put on sort of like chicken wire that and that holds the concrete on. So he's so far this morning done the plywood over the framing and he's finishing up the paper and then I guess it's time for the, the metal to go on. We'll see how far he gets um, today. Good morning. It's day three of this project and day three of this horrible heat wave that we're having in early June. Um, Mr. Miguel was able to do quite a bit yesterday. He put up all that black paper onto the, um, the framing and then he did that um, metal, the, the mesh that goes on that will hold the cement in place. Um, he did probably about half of the metal and today this morning he came very early at 6 30 and he did on two sides the first coat of the cement so this afternoon he is going to try to finish the grill that goes on that metal that goes onto it and um, maybe even the first coat of cement all the way around we'll see how that goes um, and then tomorrow he might even be able to finish the second coat so that all of this can dry for a while and then we can paint it. Look how great this already looks. It's so much better just to have this um, all covered up. And it's gonna look so nice when you're coming up the windy drive and you just see this beautiful church rather than ugly pool equipment. I'm really happy with it. My husband is very happy with it. It is Saturday morning and the wall is nearly finished. Um, Mr. Miguel finished all of the um, 
covering the whole wall in the black mesh yesterday. And then today he is working on um, doing the rest of the cement layers and then also doing that decorative edge at the top, which requires putting on some triangles of wood and then covering that with a foam material and more mesh and then covering it finally with its coat of cement or two coats of cement actually. So I think that it will be done today and then it will have to dry for a couple of um, days. Um, since today's Saturday, it will definitely obviously be drying Sunday, possibly even Monday. Um, and then we'll paint it. Good morning everyone. It's Monday morning and it's so much nicer today. It's so much cooler. I think my plants are going to be way happier this week. I think highs are in the upper um, 70s or low 80s, which is completely doable, my favorite temperature. Um, so we are on day five of Mr. Miguel working on the wall and I think today he's going to totally finish the concrete aspect of it and then it's going to have to dry. Um, maybe till Wednesday, maybe a little longer, and then it will be painted. Um, and then this whole project will be wrapped up. And the only thing really left to do is to figure out the plants in front. We have those bushes and they're very scraggly and scrawny. Um, so they might not make it um, through this uh, process because they did get dripped on with a lot of cement and um, it just might be too much for them to bear. But it's really too late in the season for us to plant any more um, bushes or anything that um, requires a lot of tending during the summer because it's just, like I said, it's usually too hot. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll trim off some of that stuff that got on them, some of the branches that got uh, the cement on it, and we'll water them a lot, and I might transplant the two on the sides to the front or maybe one on the side to the front we'll see how it goes so that it's more of um, an even spacing um, we'll water them we'll see how they do if they don't make the cut the autumn is when we're going to fix that um, and I'm excited I think that it's really going to look amazing I think it looks like it's always been there at the wall I mean I, I think even without painting it it looks amazing um, but I think once we um, I think the plan is to power wash the wall that's the old wall that's near the new wall um, and then paint everything and I think that's gonna really look wonderful so we will see um, how all of that goes and um, embark on the next project so the next thing that's happening is the entrance and I am told that that will be started this week so we shall see but I'm glad to be back in the video saddle and hopefully I will continue um, sharing what's happening here at the church but also what's happening at the rectory. I hope that everything's going well for you, that your areas are getting um, more healthy and that things are restrictions are lifting for you and that you're enjoying the summer and I will talk to you soon.
Bye-bye.